Well, now that you've taken about a million of them this year, it's time to create a Microsoft form. So, uh, in order to do that, I'm just going to direct you to the link in the week 30 folder. This will also be in the research resources folder. And we're going to click Microsoft Forms Login. Of course, you could always just type um, up here. You could Microsoft.com, Microsoft. Um, I don't want to do that right now. I'm going to sign in with my, with my SPS credentials. And it recognizes me already, so that's great. It's going to let me in. And the first page that's going to open up are the forms I've created. So, um, are actually forms that are shared with me, just recent, actually recent forms that I've accessed. So, um, here you see uh, some of the surveys that should look familiar to you. And what I'm going to do here, since I'm creating a survey and not a quiz, I'm not looking to provide feedback. I'm just looking to collect information. I'm going to click the drop down arrow and go to new form and that's going to open that up in a new tab there. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue on my uh, my research with the the films of 1994 and I want to see how familiar the uh, current generation is with the films of 1994. So, um, like, you know, what have you heard of? What have you seen? Who do you know about? So, um, I'm going to start now. I want my survey to be anonymous. I'm going to fix that settings a little bit later on so stay tuned for that but the first question I'm going to ask we're going to start with um, we're going to start with a choice question so uh, this is going to be um, which of the following 1994 films have you heard of. So this is, I just want to know what people are, are familiar with. And in order to do that, so I'm going to reference my, uh, my website that I created, and I'm, I'm just going to go down the list. Now, um, because you might have heard of several of these movies, I'm going to click multiple answers. Um, so and I don't need in all of the above none of the above there. So I'm just going to kind of go down the list. I'm looking at my at my website right now. So I can, uh, I can see all this. Okay. And in the interest of time, I'm, I'm just going to, to use the, the, the top five. So, um, so now I want which of the following have you heard of? And I want to use the same films for my next question, which is going to be how many of them have you seen? So I'm going to use that right there to copy the question. So now we got this. Which of the following 1994 films have you seen? So I'm going to think of what other information I, um, I want to know about here. So let's see, um, text. So if you have seen any of the films listed above, which, which was your favorite? Um, well, I want a text question here. Um, which was your favorite and, and why? Um, and I might want to have a little more space available for people to answer. So I'm going to click long answer. It just gives you more space. It doesn't actually require a long answer. Now, speaking of required, 
um, someone might not have seen any of these films, so I'm not going to require this, this question. Um, however, I do want to know these, so I am going to go back and select required. So now I'm going to go back to edit a question. All you have to do is click on it there. Now let's see what else. Um, I want to do a rating question. So uh, on a scale of one to five, um, actually I'm going to rephrase that. So how much do you enjoy watching watching movies? And then one, one, not at all. We, I just like, I just give the two extremes there. One, not at all. Uh, it's my favorite thing to do. If I was filling out the survey in high school, I would probably do a pick a five there. So, uh, and, and I can always, I can change this. I can make it numbers. So why don't we do that there? Um, we'll make it numbers. And, and then, so that's going to give me a, a rating system. Now, mm, that might, that information might make more sense um, above. So I'm going to move this question up to the top. I'm just going to click on that up arrow. And you see uh, it, the number just changes, so now it's it's question number number one. So there we go. And then I might ask um, of the films listed above. Nope. I just decided I want to have a different question now. The one one hitch here that I don't like. Microsoft Forms is I can't actually edit the type of question. So if I change my mind and I decide, oh, I want to use a different type of question, I need to delete, then go back to add new, and please enter your date of birth. I'm going to make that required because when people are filling out this survey, I want to know how old they are because if they were around in 1994 or if they're older they might have differing opinions or different experience so that's important information to have so important that I moved it up to number one now if you do want to get names if you if you do want to know who's filling out the survey you don't need to ask for names um, that's also in settings we'll go over that shortly so there we go. Those are my, my types of questions. Um, and let's see. So I've got a date, a rating, a text, and choice. Now, are there more question types? Y yes. Um, there's, there's ranking. Um, we're going to kind of keep it, keep it simple here. Now, one thing I didn't put in here yet was just a uh, plain old multiple choice question question um, and that is going to be if any of the films listed above were re-released in theaters would you go go see any of them And this, I'm not going to do multiple answers, and it's also suggesting a yes, no, or maybe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add them all. Uh, that's certainly not the uh, best question in the world, but for our demonstration purposes, it'll work. So now we want to go into, um, we're gonna go into settings. Oh, now also this is really cool. So multilingual, if you know that people who speak different languages are going to be completing your um, your survey, then you can in, include that. So I might want to have 
um, Spanish and of course different dial it recognizes different dialects so um, I've got span um, the Spanish dialect Mexican uh, dialect and um, you know I can Vietnamese so um, that way I can make it so that it's it's offered in those different languages we're gonna go back to settings here and um, I do uh, I don't want to record names for this I want it to be anonymous and I also I want to share this outside of school I'm going to share it with with friends and ask them to share it so anyone can respond and then I want to have all my responses in by May May 1st so um, I almost never do a start date or end date on those. You can click shuffle questions so that every time someone's open it, someone opens it, it'll shuffle the questions. You don't need to do that. Um, you can customize your thinking. See you at the movies. There we go. And if I want an email notification of each response, I'm going to check that out. If I want to allow people to um, send in responses after they've already responded, I'm going to check that off. I don't. I want one response per person. So um, that's my settings. And uh, I want to add a theme. I want to spice it up a little bit. And uh, I don't, there's not really anything <laughs> specifically movie related here. I'm going to pick this space thing because why not? And different computers, like if I'm doing this on my Mac, it'll, it'll give me more, um, more options, so on and so forth. A couple of other fun things that you can do is you can add media. So I want to insert an image. Maybe I want to do, um, I can just do an, an online search. Um, so let's see. If I want to insert a, I'm going to click search. Let's see if it'll give me a movie theater. Okay. So I'm going to add that, and now it'll just it'll show that picture. Um, and so I can add media to do that. And the last thing I'm going to do is share it. So I'm going to click on share. Now, if I'm sharing it with people to fill out, I can copy the link. I can generate a QR code. I can email it. And then if I'm going to add a collaborator, which is what I would like you to do, I'd like you to make sure you share it with me. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this link, and that's how you would add a collaborator, somebody who can actually edit your your survey. So that is how you create a Microsoft form, and I'm gonna be asking everybody to do this for for their their research, um, regardless of whether or not you actually plan on using it. So uh, at, let me know if you have any questions and enjoy creating your Microsoft form.